I've known Moxley for over 10 years, and the first time I met him, I thought he was some kind of a freak, some kind of a, a quiet misfit, bad haircut, didn't really talk, kind of dopey. And I still feel the same way today, other than the fact that he's so much better of a wrestler than he was back then. And that's one of the reasons why he's so driven and why he's so intense and why he's so great. It's why he's the AEW interim champion, or as he says, champion. Screw the interim. To understand the Blackpool Combat Club, think of this. It wasn't too long ago Brian Danielson and I were beating the ever-loving hell out of each other for over 20 minutes. It wasn't too long ago that they had to mop Wheeler Yuta's bloody face up off the canvas. They're still trying to get blood out of that canvas. I once ripped the ear off of William Regal's head. Claudio had to wear adult braces for two years and drink his meals through a straw for months after I knocked his teeth down his throat. These are my friends. This is what we do. Iron sharpens iron, and these are the men I want around me. Because the John Moxley of 2022 is a hell of a lot better and a hell of a lot harder to beat than the John Moxley of 2019. Chris Jericho thinks any differently. He's gonna find out real quick what the Blackpool Combat Club is all about. After two and a half years, I'm demanding my rematch for the AEW World Championship. And when I beat you, Mox, I'm gonna be the first ever two-time AEW Le Champion. I want the guy I used to see on VHS tapes, I used to wear out of the back of magazines. I want the guy from Super J Cup. I want the Lionheart. You want the last survivor of Stu Hart's dungeon? Do you know how crazy Stu Hart was? How insane Stu Hart was? How maniacal that old man was? And if the AEW World Championship is gonna be defended on my watch, it will be John Moxley versus the last survivor of the Heart Dungeon, Lionheart, Chris Jericho. I know more submission holds than this entire company put together. And when I said I'm gonna stretch the shit out of you, Mox, I meant it. You open Pandora's box, man, you're bringing back some bad memories. When this is on the line, my life is on the line. And I will do absolutely anything to protect it. Violence by any means necessary. So you take every trick they taught you in that heart dungeon. You take every trick you've learned all throughout Japan and Mexico and Europe, everywhere you've been over the last decades, becoming the Chris Jericho that you are today. You bring all of that to Minnesota. You bring that shit to Quake on the Lake. You want it, you got it. Lionheart Chris Jericho, your hero, your idol. You brought him back. And now, think about this. How much better is Lionheart Chris Jericho gonna be in 2022 after being a seven-time world champion, being the greatest of all time? There's elements of Lionheart in everything I do. But maybe it's time to turn up some of the other elements that I haven't thought about in a while. So I appreciate you, Mox. I thank you for giving me a new mindset for this championship match. And when the dust clears, we'll see who's standing as AEW World Heavyweight Champion. If you're a betting man, you probably didn't make a lot of money this year betting against John Moxley. I earned this position, I earned this spot, and I earned this match next week at Quake by the Lake. And Mox, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna stress the shit out of you. I'm gonna tap you out. I'm gonna take that championship. I'm walking out of Minneapolis, the two-time AEW Le Champion. I guarantee it. Who is Madison Rain? She's a five-time women's world champion. She has spent half of her life learning, loving, and perfecting her craft inside the ring. And what better place to showcase everything that Madison Rain is than right here at AEW. Madison, this is Jade, and she is our TBS champion, something you will never, ever become. I don't care that she's a veteran. I don't care the amount of time she's put in. What has she done here at my company? Oh, cross range, three. Now, as you all know, I am big on 
charity. And I have an open challenge this Wednesday on Dynamite. I would love to invite you to show up, show out, and get that ass beat. I'm a veteran. I know better. I know to always be looking over my shoulder, especially against someone like you. I have done everything that you have never done in, what, a year? There's not a damn thing that Madison can teach me. I know that Jade, the TBS champion, she's undefeated. And look at her. She's powerful, she's strong, she's beautiful. She's the total package. But the one thing that's gonna get in Jade's way is Jade. This Wednesday on Dynamite at Quake by the Lake, the only thing that's gonna be quaking is you, Madison, when I hit you with Jaded. I've stepped in the ring with monsters before, and the bigger they are, the harder they fall. I want everybody to know something. I was given that title when people thought that it was a noose. I turned it around into a tie and I made the most of it. I took leather and metal and I made it into gold. First time I met Ricky Starks, we met in St. Louis, Missouri. We were both out there training, trying to make a name for ourselves. Nobody back there can say they did it. I did it, it was me. Ricky and I, we went overseas together. We went to Ireland, we went to England. We were there for three months. And I deserve to be here and talk to all y'all for more than 40 seconds. I deserve that. And there's people back there who tell me, hey, be patient, wait your turn. The time is gonna come. I don't wanna hear that no more. My time was last month. My time was last year. My goddamn time is right now. Oh, it's always all about Ricky. And that's what I had to deal with the entire time that we were a team. Man, when I saw Hobbs, when I saw Hobbs hit Ricky like that. That's why me and Hobbs were. I haven't been watching. I had my best friend in Will Hobbs turn on me. I lost the FTW championship, and now Team Taz is no more. And if things couldn't get worse for me, I got offered to join the factory by QT Marshall. QT wanted to help you out. I advised him not to, but he wanted to help you out. You think I want the help of Anthony Agogo, the big dumbass with the hat? Aaron Solo, Cole Carter, whatever the hell his name is, no, I don't. Ricky, nobody says no to the factor, nobody. What I do need is this. I need a chance to get in the ring and let out my frustrations, and that is exactly what I'm going to do to Aaron Solo tomorrow night. Me and Ricky, we got here at AEW at the same time, but you think Ricky ever made mention of me? No, he glossed over me. Aaron. I am not one to shy from my history. Yes, you and I have been a tag team before. I can admit that. But it just so happened that you and I went two separate paths. I don't need friends at this moment, man. I damn sure don't need the factory. I can do it on my own, like I've been doing since day one. This one day I'm going to beat the shit out of Ricky Starks. From here on out, you're gonna remember Aaron Solo. So you bring QT Marshall, you bring Anthony Gogo, you bring the Camarado, bring all of them. Because I'm gonna guarantee one thing. I'm gonna run through you, I'm gonna run through the factory, and I'm going to get my hands on Will Hobbs one way or another. You know, Darby, it's ironic. You have the words, nothing's over, Tell your underground tattooed across your chest. Do you know why I attack you in public? Do you know why I made an example of you on Dynamite? Because I can. And it's not going to stop until your casket drops. So Darby, I'm here to beat you at your own game. You and me in a coffin match. Let me know what kind of flowers you want on your headstone. <laughs> A 
The part of the story you don't want to tell anyone, Brody King, is how you are in AEW. You know that it was me that went up to Tony Khan and said, you need to hire this man, Brody King. So the fact that you are here because of me eats you alive. You say you don't need anything from me. You don't need my respect. That is a lie. You need everything from me. That is why you are trying to build your name off of me. I just want you to know that you asked for this match. I want you to remember that. This hand is gonna be the last thing you see before I shut the lid on your coffin.